Hey everyone, if you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. This is 1921S Lincoln Cent in MS65 red condition, long regarded as a difficult issue with a mintage of only 15 million. Even circulated coins were rarely found in circulation in the 1950s. From the collector's standpoint, average uncirculated coins are not that difficult to locate and are moderately priced. However, the real stopper is 1921S with full red color. This coin lacks the often seen wood grain texture or many 21S scents. However, close examination reveals tiny specks of iridescence with bits of lime green, lilac, and orange red on each side. Well, but not fully struck as one would expect, with full definition on reverse, but soft details on Lincoln's beard. It was sold for $25,300 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1929's Walking Liberty of Dollar in MS66 Plus condition, an impressive gem with platinum white surfaces and intense lusters throughout. Uniformly frosty and, and free of disturbances, Mint Mate dye polish in the upper reverse fields contributes to the significant eye appeal and desirability. Trailing only the 1933S, the 1929S is the second most available San Francisco Mint half dollar of the 1916 to 1933 era. As with its identical dated Denver Mint counterpart, the onset of the Great Depression kept many examples from being released until the mid-1930s, by which time the coins were desired by contemporary numismatists and speculators. While Mint State examples can be found without much difficulty, they are seldom encountered above MS65. This gem ended up selling for $15,600 at Stax Powers Auction. Here is 1932S Washington Quarter in MS66 condition. Beautiful multicolored peripheral toning provides exceptional eye appeal for this lustrous satiny gem. Strike in the first year of the series and originally intended as one year only commemorative issue. No quarters were struck at height of Great Depression in 1933 and in 1934 the decision to continue Washington Quarter as a regular issue denomination was made. This elusive quarter was bargained for $15,275 at Stax Powers Auction. This is 1942 Lincoln Cent in PR67 red cameo condition. The economic stresses of World War II caused the Philadelphia Mint to cancel its commercial proof offering after 1942. But a relatively generous mintage of proof Lincoln cents was produced before the program was discontinued. Examples with cameo surfaces are rare due to all brilliant finish used on proofs of this era. The present coin is magnificent superb gem with razor sharp definition on all design elements and deeply mirrored fields that contrast boldly with the frosty devices to create a dramatic cameo effect. It was sold for $14,687.50 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1982D half dollar in MS67 plus condition, a major condition rarity. This registry grade 1982D Kennedy half dollar ranks as one of the finest certified. The coin is fully struck and displays exceptionally well preserved satin luster. Most of each side offers delicate champagne toning, although Ice blue appears near the upper of birth and lower reverse peripheries. It was sold for $3,525 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1951S Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. Freckled gold toning appears on the brilliant nickel gray surfaces of these highly lustrous and boldly detailed superb gem. The 1951S is an important strike rarity in the Jefferson Nickel series. This specimen ended up selling for $5,520 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, like, subscribe and comment. Stay well.